Welcome back to Houston Life. Your gums play an important role in keeping your teeth healthy and strong. And if bone loss has affected your teeth, even something as simple as chewing an apple can be a real challenge. But there is a solution. Here with more is Dr. Michelle Azar from Texas Dental Implant Center, along with one of his patients, Alex Vargo. Gentlemen, welcome to you both. It's great to see you. Yeah, Dr. Azar, nice welcome to back you. to the show. Uh, Alex, it's so nice to meet you. Oh, my pleasure. And we've been chatting during the break here. Alex has been through a lot, uh, not only over your lifetime, but you lost your wife four years ago to cancer. Yeah. You've had your own battle with cancer. Yeah. And for a lifetime before finding Dr. Azar, you struggled with teeth that looked great, but yeah. didn't function very well. No. Describe your situation to us. It, um, I always prided myself on my smile. And it just got to the point where I, I couldn't eat and, and, and I couldn't understand why my teeth hurt. And it's not like I had cavities or anything like that. Uh, I, I just, I couldn't eat. And it was extremely uh, painful at times. Your teeth were feeling loose? Oh my God, yes. Um, I couldn't eat an apple scared to death that my, my a tooth was gonna come out. It was that, it got to that stage, sir. And so what was a visit to the dentist like for you? Well, <laughs> to, to start off, uh, I'm extremely paranoid about dentists. Okay. I, they scare me. Uh, the You're not alone. A lot of people feel that way. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I went and saw Dr. Azer is I wouldn't sit in the chair. I stood there. Yeah. And, I, I remember the first visit you came to us. We've had to do the whole consultation standing. standing up. And I told them, Alex, at some point, we'll have to sit down and look at your teeth. <laughs> OK, it's, this is the first time I've ever heard of something like this. But, but that just demonstrates how scared to go to the dentist you uh, were. Yes, sir. What convinced you to get in, in the chair and let him look in your mouth? Um, the, the one thing, and, and I'll, I'll hurry the process, the one thing that the doctor did not learn in graduate school or dental school or when, when he went and got his master's is compassion. And he talked to me and he had pat my arm. <laughs> and he wasn't talking down to me, but he was talking slow and easy like you would talk to a child. <laughs> and uh, I just, I felt at ease. And I thought, okay, I have no questions. He says, you will not feel any pain. Um, I woke up and I had a full mouth of teeth. The teeth you have in your mouth right now. You just woke up and you had a perfect smile. Yeah. What is it like chewing food for you now? Can you eat apples? Can you eat oh corn? Oh my God, I, uh, I got more teeth in my mouth than I had when I was 16. I can eat <laughs> anything, sir. Uh, apple, that sweet corn on the cob. Uh, there, there's nothing I can't put in my mouth and chew. It, your smile looks really beautiful. And Dr. Azar, Alex's situation is not atypical. You see cases when, when there's bone loss or loose teeth, even if a smile looks okay, there can be underlying issues that really prevent someone from living yeah. their life. So, so Alex, I think he spent a lot of time during his life taking care of his teeth. So he always had nice looking teeth. Uh, but again, side effects of cancer therapy, radiation sometimes would cause dry mouth and that causes the foundation of the teeth to be deteriorated. So for him, it was very important not to spend a single day without a tooth, right? So we had to undergo this procedure, give him the immediate smile right away with our one arch procedure. And with this procedure, we also had him sedated, so it overcome the anxiety that he has to go through. Which, again, a lot of people feel that anxiety. And what I think is incredible, Dr. Azar, you've been on our show many, many times. We know that you, you change people's lives through your procedure. When you are helping someone through a dental issue like this, there's no sending things out to a lab and waiting for them to come back. Mm -hmm. Everything is done in the office, right? Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, we have the lab in-house. Um, Alex probably knows more about the lab people who, who work there. They, he beats them every time in case of a specific demand on the shape of the teeth. Uh, so it's so important for us to have this communication between the clinic and the lab all together. And it's all geared towards our procedure and our patients. It's incredible. I mean, safe to say this changed your life, Alex? Yes, sir, completely. Um, 
I wasn't living life to the fullest, and at my age, I didn't want to spend the rest of my years not being able to joy, enjoy things um, or be leery of things. I wanted my smile back. I wanted the discomfort gone. And I wanted the food that I used to love to eat. I wanted to experience that again. You were telling me a couple things, Alex, before uh, before this segment that really stuck with me. Two things. First, that if you were invited out to a lunch, you would feel immediate anxiety. Where are we going? Is it a steakhouse? Am I going to have a situation where a tooth falls out? And the other thing you told me that really stuck with me is you regret not doing this sooner. Oh, it, it, you're so correct. Uh, hindsight is always twenty twenty, and. I wish I would have gone to Dr. Azer 10 years ago. I wouldn't have put up with what I, I put up with. Um, it's, it's something that everyone has to make that decision where they've got to say enough is enough. Just, I can't stress that enough. Whether it's people in your audience that are scared to death, I guarantee they were not half as frightened as I was. I was just scared to death. But it was truly the best thing, sir. I, he has brought my life back to me. I know that sounds ridiculous, but he has. It doesn't sound ridiculous. And uh, considering, again, everything you've been through uh, over the last few years, I'm glad you're able to enjoy life. Uh, Dr. Azur, final thoughts before we're out of time. This is something that you see on a, a regular basis, right? Yeah. I think the number one uh, factor that people would delay having their teeth checked or getting uh, fixed is fear. And uh, in my clinic, we are all trained to handle the anxiety, which is the number one concern, from the person who's going to answer the phone, the team members who's going to be treating you. We're also doing the latest technology so that there is minimal visit times and minimal visit uh, uh, redos. Um, so all of that, I'm trying to help out everyone who's being scared of the dentist to come in and schedule their treatment. Anyone who's been scared or even if they've been told by other dentists that there is nothing that can be done because of gum issues or bone loss, we're seeing a lot of the before and after photos of some of your patients here. And as I always say, the proof is in the pudding. The before and after photos really speak for themselves. So Dr. Michelle Azur, it's always great to see you. Alex Vargo, I'm glad to know you. It's great to meet you. My pleasure. And it was truly my pleasure. Eat, eat some corn for me and enjoy it. I, you are as kind as what you appear to be on TV. <laughs> I will say that and embarrass you too. Uh, I appreciate that. <laughs> He's so awesome. Much. I'm glad to know you both. And uh, in the meantime, the Texas Dental Implant Center does have a special offer for Houston Life viewers. The first 20 callers will receive a complimentary consultation after a short pre qualification call. Then that one on one consultation with Dr. Azar plus a 3D scan and x rays. That is a $1,000 value. So to schedule your appointment, you can call 713-322-5056. You can also go online, bestdentalimplantshouston.com. And don't go away. Houston Life will be right back.